create synergies that our intuition helps us accomplish. Madame Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters and friends, what is your reaction when you have an idea for a new project? As a highly creative person, I have many ideas. It's an everyday. Today, I'm going to share one of them with you because there is something different. For the first time, I decided to take the idea that popped up in my mind and take all the steps that were coming in my way in order to make it happen. Because most of the times, I didn't do that. I was having ideas and then, and then uh, being anxious about uh, what the big picture is and uh, not completing my, my steps. In case you have tried to do something like that in the past, you might have, uh, uh, you might think that we have the same, the same experiences. So at first, let me introduce you to the project. It is about a company that I am cooperating with, and it is called Overall Education. The company is a, is a platform with uh, educational audiobooks in, uh, in Greek. What I wanted to do is, was, an, uh, a, uh, was some a series of interviews with the creators and the narrators of an audiobook. Our content is books in audio format. The, the books are written by, by their writers and are narrated by our narrators. So I thought that it was really interesting and would help promote our books to, to, to have, a, have them story, the story set online. The project started as an idea in April and the first episode was published in the first, on the 1st of May. Up until today, we have published two episodes and we have, uh, we have, created, uh, we have created another five interviews to be published in the, in the next weeks. Let me share you about the story. I believe that it's always interesting to to share the story behind the idea, how it came up to someone's mind. You see, I'm a podcast and uh, audio designer. I always have an audiobook uh, listening in, in an app on my phone. And every day I listen at least to one podcast. One day I I attended a, a webinar from uh, Tony Robbins. We all heard of, of Tony Robbins here in our meetings. One of his suggestions in order to, to help our subconscious reading program is to do something called incantations, which is like positive affirmations, but you have to say them loud and have your body move because it is easier for the mind to, uh, to be reprogrammed and install the new affirmations. So I, I started them and uh, at first it was really difficult. So I thought maybe there is someone on, on YouTube uploaded a video with these incantations in you because you have to do them on a loop. Of course, you can always find everything on YouTube. So I find I found all of the incantations needed in order to in order to do my daily practice. What was really interesting was what happened after that. You see, YouTube has autoplay, and uh, based on your interest, it searched with you another video. For some reason. The autoplay was always showing me interviews of people having podcasts 
with, uh, with a person that has just published a book. And I can see that every, every day. Then I realized that although we have the challenge of YouTube that we say that we cannot have a video more than five minutes, those discussions were about one hour and a half, and I was there and I was listening from the beginning to the end. So one day I thought, this is what I'm going to do in order to, to promote more our audiobooks. Of course, that was the idea. It was not done. We have to see it in action. In order to do that, at first, I had to pitch the idea to my team. We are a team from, uh, with uh, five members. And when you pitch the idea to your team, they uh, have to have a unanimity vote in order to agree and help you to launch this project. So you have to make it interesting. Of course, I managed to, do, to make it interesting because they said yes. So we began. But is this the end? No, because this is where the challenges are starting. They may say yes at first, but then you just lose them. And you're saying, where is the intro I asked from you? I have to upload the first YouTube video. Where is the, the audio I asked from you? I have to upload the first video on YouTube. I have to say to you that I, I nagged a lot in the month of April. But thank God I have a team that loves me and understands me. <laughs> because as I told you, the first episode is online and I really looking, I'm really looking forward to share with you what is going to happen after a month. Thank you.